this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. How's she going today? Well, it's the same day as when we were cleaning or moving the beans around, but we're dumping them here now. There's lots of dust coming off of them now, anyway, compared to when we were combining them. Yeah, they're all dried down from anywhere from 14 to 10 percent moisture. 14 is what they call dry here at the elevator, so I'm just catching some all the way through the load again here. I'm just going to test it again to make sure, but And then the barley should be clean here shortly, so I'll go pick that up with the tandem. And the screenings with the other tandem for the chicken feed. And then uh, tomorrow we'll probably bring that over to Grandpa's and dump it, so. That's where the barley's gonna be sown, and then that way I can put it in a hopper bin over there, so. Kind of the plan. Lots of pods in it because it was so tough when we were combining. Couldn't get rid of the goddamn thing. Alrighty, we'll see where we're at here. About seven, so we need 250 grams. Okay, now that it's zeroed, put the top on. Pour them in, operate, splash. We're at 19, so I'll have to look at the chart on my phone because I don't have a soybean chart in the book here. So I'll look it up and I'll tell you here in a second. So 19 at 11 degrees, or what'd I say? Yeah, 19 at 11 degrees is 12 and a half moisture. So we're like, whatever, five, six, seven in there ballpark again. The chart doesn't go that cool, but uh, it only changes by a point for every uh, every degree cooler. So going by that, we're around that 13-ish best, you know, ballpark guess. So we're still a whole a whole one under dry. So that's kind of handy. So anyway, I guess we'll wait till we hear that the barley's done. Mr. Martin's here again, and we'll talk to you in a bit. 
Well, they got a call here. They're done uh, cleaning the barley seed. So me and Antoine traded trucks today. I wanted to drive the freight liner. <laughs> I hardly ever drive this truck. So he's up ahead with the International, but I'm going to use this truck to pick up the uh, screenings. All the weed seeds and chaff and cracked barleys and small barleys, what have you. Makes uh, real good chicken feed, so. And then uh, Antoine's gonna pick up the, uh... oh, come on, there we go. <laughs> Antoine is going to pick up the uh, clean seed, so, I guess. I'll take my time down the road here because they're muddy and I don't want to get the truck all dirty, so. I guess we'll talk to you when we get there. Alrighty, we're at the cleaners. Antoine's getting loaded up with the clean seed. My God, does that bat coal move grain. <laughs> but, he's gonna get loaded up. I'm gonna go talk for a few seconds here and then uh, while they set the auger up under the screenings bin and then we'll get loaded up, so. That's the plan. <laughs> oh, that's all of it anyways there. <laughs> there, lots of chicken food. So we almost got a load on here. We'll see, it might not be a... Uh a right full load, but it'll be mighty close anyways, but anyway, keep loading here and we'll talk to you in a minute. I guess I didn't really say, but brought the auger over to Grandpa Henry's here to load this heated canola, and they didn't quite have enough to make a load, so I'm putting some good stuff on. There's only about 70 cents different between the heated and good stuff right now anyways. Because of the fucking Indians blocking their rail lines off so there's no trains moving so the canola's really in the shitter. That's real good, real handy. So, we're just getting there loaded up here. We just moved the auger to the other bin so we'll uh, see what happens. It's alright with me if we get her emptied out anyway because I need these for putting seed in. We've got uh, wheat in the one here already, so. Anyway, keep loading and I'll talk to you here in a few. guys oh boy well it's a few days later than the beginning of the video but I have still got my fucking cold here I don't have much voice but <laughs> anyway I've got the heater going on this bin of wheat here it's about 16% moisture I want to dry down I've got it sold so I'm uh, gonna let the heat run on it for a few days here like this again it works pretty damn good so and then uh, we'll pull a load or two out and turn it. <laughs> See what happens. But anyway, I just coming over here to check on it. So I guess we'll go back in the shop and we'll talk again in a little bit. Well, guys, and how are you? <laughs> Holy fuck. My voice is getting a little better. It's still a bit crackly, but anyway, we are at Grandpa Henry's here with the uh, tandem full of barley seed. And I'm just gonna hook up the uh, auger from that shitty canola. And then Antoine's gonna set the uh, 10 inch swing auger up and we'll dump this barley. So I guess this hooked up and out of the way and we'll talk to you in a minute. Doesn't 
taste good or what? Are you sure? Just a pile of shit right here. Just right there. Not too often we use all of them for seeds, so yeah. Yep. Well, see you on the other side. Good thing he's nice and skinny. <laughs> shut it so the wind doesn't blow all the chaff back up at them. Make a big pile on the door and then we'll dump it, shovel it away and she'll be all cleaned out. Just be a dick and take a hammer and bang! <laughs> Leave him in there for a couple hours to cool down so he doesn't chase me around the yard and beat me up. <laughs> So do you like sweeping bins out? Gain about 400 pounds so you don't fit through the hole. <laughs> yeah. We gotta make a patch for that fucker, eh? It's almost like it's augered a bazillion bushels of grain and everything's paper thin. It's funny how that can happen, eh? When something's 30 years old. Oh my God. So, you're happy you get to use your favorite tractor in the whole wide world again? You wish we could just sell everything and only have them again? No? Really? You don't miss the one we used to have? No? Funny. Funny. <laughs> I thought those are the best tractors I ever made though. For international. Their bar is pretty low though. That kind of compares to like a 110 John Deere garden tractor. <laughs> there, that'll get the old thumbs down going now. <laughs> Gotta get the leaf blower and blow all this fucking Build canola around here away. I forgot it at home, so I guess next time. If I almost forgot this, that wouldn't have been very good. Anyway, I got a slow drive home with the auger, so I'll leave him to finish dumping this. Bye, Juan. there holy moly what I was gonna say <clears throat> you know you're a farm kid when a bale of twine makes a good pillow why not lay up there I said nope she lays down there okay whatever whatever makes you happy <laughs> Alrighty, so we are uh, 
We are dumping the chicken feed out of the freight liner. It's all our screenings from getting feed cleaned and a bit of barley from the bottom of the grain ring. Some leftover stuff. So. Well, that's a, it's all wheat and barley in there right now. So. There's probably about 300 bushels, but it worked really good. Our uh, our aeration tube in there to dry it out, so. Here, they don't want to hear my voice, so I want you to talk about what we're doing. Well, anyway, I think the video is probably long enough, so that's where I'm going to end it. It's too windy here to, we're going to take some of Antoine's wheat out of here and uh, turn it and just make sure everything's still hunky-dory inside the bin, but the wind was blowing it away from the auger, or well, it wasn't, but I mean, it's windy enough that I know it would be. <laughs> so, we'll worry about that tomorrow I think so that'll be it for today I'm gonna go have a drink because my throat's getting kind of dry and that's where I'll leave you so I guess thank you much for watching and leave a like and subscribe for more and do some shout outs here I think real quick here Rock and Robbie's Roadhouse Straight Pipe Acres uh, Shane Holst Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, good old Ed Goslin. All pretty good channels, so. Make sure you go check them out, and make sure you tell them I sent you over there if you go. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.